It is a typical divide and conquer strategy, especially in America with how gullible, naive, ignorant the majority of Americans are. It's very easy to manipulate you and make you think that an entire group of people are terrorists. Why? Well, because Big Brother said so and you guys just follow blindly. You don't do your own research because if you did, you would realize your own government is the biggest terrorist out there. But uh, you guys still subscribe to their bullshit. So <laughs> a part of me is like, the government is not really the problem anymore. It's your own ignorance and your lack of desire to truly know the truth. So who's really the problem? The liar, the clowns, or you that keeps showing up to the circus and believing the lies. So who, who's really the problem here? The person buying the ticket and supporting this bullshit or the person that's just making profits out of your own stupidity and ignorance and your willingness to believe their bullshit. Because your life's so pathetic and empty and you're so easily manipulated. He knows he got an audience, which is you. <laughs> so there's multiple layers to what's going on right now. And a big part of me knows it's not entirely the government's fault. And it's not entirely uh, about that specific situation. There's a much bigger scale, there's a much bigger uh, behind the scenes intention that is taking place that many people are too oblivious of because they're very emotionally wound up. So when you're very emotional, you don't think straight, you don't think clearly. And that's why it's always good to breathe deeply be very critical with what you choose to su subscribe to and what you choose to believe because that's what i personally do i have no specific agenda to try to prove this right or this wrong whatever the truth is no matter how ugly it is no matter who is saying it i am willing to hear it it's not that uh offensive to me if you say something that is true that let's say my brother did something bad i will not deny it be like yeah you, you're right he did something bad true but what is currently happening is that a very good analogy of it is something I posted on my stories, which was if you're supporting Israel at the current moment, you are quite literally supporting a rapist from the response that the woman gave back to him. I'll just put the picture. It's much easily explained. It's, I don't remember the exact words, but I remember the meaning of it. That's the whole essence of it. So, I don't want to make this too long because I can just keep talking about these things and their layers for a very long time, which inshallah I will, but not at the moment. I've got to be in a better headspace and better overall position to start making such moves because a person like me would cause even more trouble than already exists. So, because not because I'm going to do anything bad, but because... You guys are genuinely allergic to the truth. And I would probably be one of the worst things that would happen to your allergy. <laughs> or maybe the best. Maybe you get cured of your allergy. <laughs> All right, have a nice day.